The Sportland Pressure Control is a compact and versatile standalone control used to regulate pressure at a specific location by controlling a Sportland electric valve. Its operation is flexible enough to be configured to control both low side and high side pressure of a refrigeration or air conditioning system. Optional sensors are available to show monitoring of subcooling or superheat. Stepper motor valves are available to control pressure throughout the system. Electronic upgrade kits are also available from mechanical SORET, A8, and A8OE valves. Menu operation is input via an easy-to-use select knob with a large four-digit LED display. It has Modbus and BACnet communications options that are both standard for communication protocol for control systems in the industry. Additional features of the Sporland Pressure Control include optional controller networking for remote access, four optional temperature inputs, and one optional digital input for an external switch or relay. There is also an alarm output that alerts pressure sensor failure, high pressure, low pressure, and initialization failure. Let's take a look at the installation of the Sporland Pressure Control. The tools you'll need include a small flat screwdriver, a cordless screwdriver, needle nose pliers, wire cutters, and two number eight half inch self tapping screws to mount the DIN rail. To begin installation, Select a rain-tight protected location to mount the control on the supplied DIN rail. To give yourself enough working space, choose a location with a clear area 10 inches high and 5 inches wide with a minimum depth of 3 inches. Connect the Sporland electric valve wires to terminals 5, 6, 7, and 8, matching the colors shown in the wiring diagram. Attach the pressure transducer cable to terminals 33, 34, and 35, matching the colors shown in the wiring diagram. For evaporator pressure regulating applications, mount the optional suction vapor temperature sensor to the suction line. Connect the sensor wires to terminals 31 and 32. This sensor may be used to monitor and view superheat. For liquid pressure applications, mount the optional liquid outlet temperature sensor to the liquid line feeding the expansion valves. Connect the sensor wires to terminals 29 and 30. This sensor may be used as a high temperature cutout. For condenser holdback pressure applications, mount the optional liquid inlet temperature sensor, T3, to the liquid line leaving the condenser. Connect the sensor wires to terminals 27 and 28. This monitor may be used to monitor and view subcooling. Connect terminals 25 and 26 to a digital input a short or closed contact from an external relay will enable pump down and drive the valve to 0% or 100% based on the pump down direction set in the control. Connect power wires to terminals 1 and 2. Transformer requirements are 24 volt AC or DC at 40 VA. Before attempting to set up the pressure control, Make sure the refrigeration or air conditioning system has been turned off until after setup is complete. Power up the control. It will display the firmware version and then prompt for four system variables to be set. The electric valve is closed upon startup and the system will not operate until setup is complete. The first step is setting the control application. Press and then turn the select knob to set the application. For low side applications, select Evaporator Pressure Regulator, EPR. For high side applications, select Condenser Pressure Regulator, COND. This is the holdback. Select REC for Receiver Pressure Regulator or LPR for Liquid Pressure Regulator. Once you have chosen an application, press the Select knob to save the value. The next variable Pressure Transducer Range, PRNG, is displayed. Set the Pressure Transducer Range, PRNG, by turning the Select knob to dial in the correct pressure range for the transducer being used. Press the Select knob to save the value. Next, set the Pressure Set Point, PSP, using the Select knob to dial in the desired pressure set point for the system. Press the select knob to save the selected set point.
Finally, set the valve steps STEP by selecting the correct number of steps for the electric valve being used. Press the select knob to save the value. That completes the setup. The pressure control will begin controlling based on the default values you just programmed and is now displaying system pressure, PRES. The controller is now in the process values menu. Rotate the knob to view the values. Enter the set point menu. Press the select knob for five seconds. Now enter the password and press the select knob again. The default password is 111. To view a parameter, rotate the select knob to the desired parameter and press the knob. The default value will be displayed. Turn the select knob to change the value and then press the select knob to enter the value and return to the set point menu. After all the desired parameters are set, turn the select knob to ESC and press the knob to save and implement all changes. It's a good idea to observe the system a few minutes for proper operation. The Sporland pressure control is easy to install, easy to set up, and reliable. For more information, scan the QR code to go directly to the installation and operation instructions. Another smart idea from Sporland.